capacity has been an issue. It's really no secret around here. The Mohammed Seymour School District says it desperately needs a new junior high building. Right now, hallways are crowded, some teachers share classrooms, and enrollment keeps going up. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. The district is hoping for a new building, but they'll need to pass a referendum to build it. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara is with us. So Scarlett, what would this cost taxpayers? In total, the district is asking for $59 million. So if you own a $300,000 house, that could cost you about $500 extra per year. But it's not set in stone. It'll be on the ballot next month. Superintendent Dr. Kenny Lee says he wants voters to be informed. So he invited them to an open house tonight to show them what it's like inside that building. Every classroom at Muhammad Seymour Junior High School is full, even the wrestling room. Several have two classes in session at once, and at lunchtime, students are spilling into the hallway. We just are uh, in dire need of more space here at the junior high school. The district wants to replace the 60-year-old building. They say it can't keep up with increasing enrollment, so they're asking taxpayers for $59 million. We are at about a negative 278 students, so we have 278 more students than what this building was built for for capacity. This is the smallest classroom here at Muhammad Seymour Junior High, so I want you to imagine six students sitting jam-packed in this cluster. Now, I want you to imagine 40 trying to learn math in this room. It's somewhat depressing, actually, um, to see that the facility is not a place that I would be excited to learn in. The district says it's their most dated and high-need facility. In June, they asked voters for $98 million. It was a resounding no that we had. He says that no was two to one. So they scaled down their plans. In June, it was for um, something that would touch every building and hopefully fix all of those capacity needs. Now they're focusing on what they need the most, a new junior high with double the current capacity. Clearly crowded, even though the kids aren't here, you can tell that there's not enough space. Aaron Anderson says he's in favor of anything that'll help. His family wanted to move to a district that values education. For us, any way we can support the kids to have the best education, whether it's facilities or anything like that, is important. It'll all come down to the referendum on the ballot next month. If this doesn't pass, then we'll go back to the drawing board and continue to be as creative as possible. If the referendum passes, the new school would be built at another site, but the district says they'd explore ways they can still use the current facility. Jessica? All right, Scarlett, thank you. If you missed tonight's open house, the district is hosting another next Tuesday. That'll happen from 6 to 8 p.m. in the junior high cafeteria. The district says it's an opportunity to ask questions about the proposal and tour the current building.